Hi, I'm Sushma. I'm associated with RAD from almost 10 months now. RAD at home is based on crowdsourcing wherein nearly 600 members are trying to find exotic objects in the universe by sitting at home and by just using the power of internet. The first step in RAD is to do multivalent image analysis using NASA's Skyview Virtual Telescopic Tool. I got qualified in the first step and moved on to the second step that is SPECA2 hunt. During this hunt, I found an interesting radio source. NVS's image of this source shows two blobs similar to typical FR2 type of radio galaxy. But with higher resolution image from VLA first, the left blob seems to be an independent wide angle tail or bent lobe FR1 radio galaxy. The lobes of the galaxy appears to be bent by ram pressure exerted by ambient gaseous medium due to relative motion between the galaxy and the medium. UV optical IR radio RGB contour image shows many small blue galaxies in the surrounding. Plotting location of galaxies in a narrow range of redshift around the galaxy shows a possible huge filament of galaxies extending to the left. One explanation is that the host galaxy is moving to the right but more possibly the invisible intergalactic medium is moving to the left through the filament and bending the radio lobes backward. This process of gas flow through the filaments onto a cluster of galaxies is called cosmological cluster accretion through the cosmic web. Such cases of radio sources tracing cosmological cluster accretion are extremely rare and this early result is very exciting and driving us for further radio investigations with the GMRT and optical observations. Few members of RAD got the opportunity of presenting such interesting findings as posters for the Pro Am 3 conference held in Mumbai last October. We are very proud to say that recently we as a group published an international paper with all our results. A paper can be found in NASA Astrophysics Data System and Astrophysics Archive. Join RAD at home and be a part of this exciting journey. Thank you.